Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Alterity Therapeutics is CEO and Chairman Jeffrey Kempler. Jeffrey, welcome back to FNN. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here and good morning. Good to see you. Now, Alterity Therapeutics is tackling neurodegenerative disease with a focus on multiple system atrophy. Can you tell us more about this? Our lead molecule, um, 88434, is able to uh, uh, deal with the toxicity of a protein in the brain uh, called alpha-synuclein that leads to uh, the uh, the damage associated with Parkinson's disease as well as the Parkinsonian diseases such as multiple system atrophy. And so multiple system atrophy is a rare and highly uh, debilitating neurodegenerative disease and uh, there are no disease-modifying treatments for, uh, for this uh, unfortunate disease and there is no cure, although there are some treatments that can help with some of the symptoms. Our lead molecule uh, has completed phase one. Uh, It's been very successful. It's been presented at various conferences. We're very pleased with it. We're able to get our drug to the site that we're trying to target for the disease. And that includes getting across the blood and vein barrier, which is no mean feat, but it's something that we've specialized in doing for many years. Uh, And we're able to get there in good concentrations. In fact, concentrations, that are sufficient uh, based on our animal studies for efficacy. So if we can see that happening um, with our um, with patients, um, human patients, then that's going to be very, very exciting. And as part of that enthusiasm, we've been able to enlist the regulatory authorities in both America and in Europe. They've given us um, what's called orphan um, disease status, and that gives us some special uh, privileges, particularly around um, intellectual protection, to allow us to, to pursue this. So we're very pleased about all of that. And we've already also started uh, um, a study with uh, multiple system atrophy patients at Vanderbilt University in um, America. Uh, and that's a natural history study to really help us work out the endpoints that we're going to be using in our phase two. We're doing that in conjunction with the meetings that we're having at the FDA. And what can you tell me about funding? Of course, it's really exciting that recently we're able to secure an additional $35 million worth of funding. And it came from uh, uh, specialist funds in Australia, in America and in Europe. Um, Apart from bringing the funds to us, which is is a big deal, it gives us a a strong balance sheet. But as importantly, it represents an imprimatur of um, organisations that can really get into having a good look at our data and assessing its potential for success. And what can you tell us about your recent US patent approval? That was very interesting because we've been working on that. And sometimes that's sort of the silent achievement, as I call it. And what it does, is it gives us very long patent protection uh, around the concepts that we've developed over decades now. And we really are experts in understanding these proteins in our brain that serve us well uh, in health and can become really toxic to us in in um, ill health and pathology and often associated with aging. So this new patent actually gives us a wide opportunity for tremendous commercial opportunity over a long period of time to tackle some of the most um, difficult unmet medical needs. And we have the team and we have the expertise to gleefully take on that type of challenge. And to a more general question now, many companies are investigating drug candidates for the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. How far have we come and what does the next decade look like for patients? Neurodegenerative diseases are really a wonderful challenge for people who have got the scientific know-how and the management skills to uh, address them. So even though there hasn't been a lot of success in the past, and for those who followed the space, we've just come off very challenging period, for example, in Alzheimer's disease, where a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of companies gave a lot of focus to the issue around uh, that disease. And we still haven't had approvals for for a very long time. Uh, But in our hands, uh, because we've just learned so much about the role of metals in the brain, such as labile iron, um, and our ability to really um, understand the science, to get involved with uh, stopping some of the toxic events of that, We're actually very enthusiastic that the next few years are going to start to show some real progress um, for these patients. They've been, excuse the pun, very patient patients waiting for science and medicine to catch up with diseases. But our learnings are very, are very deep over these past decades. And we've been able to attract um, a management team that's really had three drug approvals uh, in the past. Uh, And I think that's the sort of expertise and that gives me the confidence that we're going to 
uh, that we should be optimistic about the, about the future. Jeffrey Kempler, thanks for the update. And thank you very much.